Hey everybody, this is Aza383, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, you said you were going to release Wario World, your LP. That is correct, I am, tomorrow. Before I do that, I want to introduce you guys to a game of course you all know, but it's not the game I'm introducing you to. It's my other style of gaming on YouTube. As you've seen, I've done a Let's Play. I'm also doing a, a game for fun, generally with a friend I'm calling a Free Play. Yeah, I know. Clever, right? So this is just pretty much me just gaming around, and gaming, screwing around, and contradicting a Let's Play by not playing 100% completionist, or just general completionist. Because this one's just for fun. The free plays are for fun. The Let's Plays are, they're still great, but they're just directly on a schedule for you need to complete everything. You need to go into this dungeon. You have to get this treasure. You have to make sure King Boo doesn't kill you. You have to survive the boss fights, etc. That's a let's play. On a free play, etc. Like this, you can just have fun and screw around. That's what I wanted to show you guys. And I just thought it'd be really cool. Because this is a game that, of course, I also really like, but I'm not going to do a let's play on Kirby Air Ride. Come on, it's... The games that I would generally do a free player for are the ones that are fun that I don't want to do a let's play because it's too much work, or two because it's just it's such an interesting game. I don't see really how you could do a let's play on Kirby Air Ride. Really, you could I guess go for the the um, tags out of the 120 checkmark boxes, I suppose. But it's kind of I personally like games that are much more. There's a set adventure you can get things along the way, like Luigi's Mansion, Wario World. Like any any Mario game, any Zelda game, many Kirby games. I guess a Sonic game would probably fit that. But this Kirby game is that kind of weird spin-off, which I do love. That is just not really a Let's Play type. It's fun. It, there's no questioning in my mind that it's fun, but it's just not that kind. So yeah, I'm going to release Let's Play Warrior World the first episode tomorrow, or about one about. A day after this is released and you're all seeing it so I hope you guys will have will enjoy let's play Warrior world I put some work into it, quite a bit of work into it probably I'd actually dare say even a little more than Luigi's Mansion because this one I was planning originally to be actually be before Luigi's Mansion but Luigi's Mansion was just one I felt like I wanted to do quickly and as you can see right now I don't care about breaking this block with speed I'm just gonna ram it anyway back to the game at large so yeah, I generally like in this in Kirby Air Ride City Trial Free um not free run start game. Just collect as many power power ups as I can. Ooh, the slick star. I want. Some people don't like the star. I can kinda see why. It's so unbalanced and crazy to control sometimes. Or it's not crazy, but it can be a little difficult. I think it's just a fun little ride, especially in in, in flight. I personally am a little evil with computers. I like to just destroy them because I'm just evil like that. Oh, that was so cool! If you notice, <laughs> I fell back into him and destroyed one of the compies. Or I hit him and I think I destroyed one of them, because I'm not going nuts from sleep deprivation. What are you talking about? Anyway, at the moment, I'm just trying to collect a lot of power-ups. That's generally what I like to do. And if I can, I'll go for Dragoon and Hydra. Hmm, what are all these power-ups doing here? I think I have, like... I think I have quite a few offenses right now, which is kind of shocking. I generally go for top speed and turn. But I take what I can get. Have you ever? Have any of you guys like ever gotten a machine and just deliberately go after the gray power ups just to see how low or how bad you can be? I kind of haven't. Well, I feel like it'd be kind of a fun idea just to see how easily you get destroyed or something. Generally, also I do these. Wow, I have quite a lot. Generally, I'd go for seven minutes, but I felt like five would be fair. I'll do two. This episode contains two five minute city trial start games I also will try to go for um, sooner or later I'll try to look around to see if there's a Dragoon or Hydra because I generally actually get very lucky oh darn you star that star rod I wanna break it I must crash into it and collide with it I will not rest until it's destroyed well, okay that was cool the star I just destroyed just now is called the formula star a star that builds up speed as you can currently go in one direction you change or charge, it will alter the direction, and therefore you cannot go that one direction. And you can't—you you'll go faster and faster the more you're consistent with one direction. If you change, however, it breaks your consistency. I personally do not like it. Yay! I can fly. Come on, let's beat him up. Beat him up. Uh, never mind. Beating up your enemies is not the most important thing, but I wouldn't be—I'd li be lying if I said it wasn't fun. 
So yeah, feel free to leave in the comments below your opinion of Kirby Air Ride. I think it's great. It's so cool. So sil so simple. So silly. I will break that big star. It's taunting me so. Hey, another slick star. Should I destroy it? Mm, yeah. Let's see. I've got to break the big star. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, you guys think I can do it, right? Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to be hellbent on breaking this thing. Come on, come on, come on, just a little more. A little more. Oh, are you serious? One more chance! I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah! I did it! Heck yeah! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Yay! I broke the big star. Let's see how many power-ups I got. Wow, quite a lot of offense. I'd be deadly in a fight. Ooh, a fight or a melee. So in this game, you just want to pick up one enemy and attack and destroy as many as you can. I personally recommend Tornado, Spark, Needle, I guess, or probably the most preferable would be Sword, because you literally just run into your enemies because Sword automatically cuts for you if you're in the vicinity of where an, er where an enemy may be. Probably Sword would be the most recommended. I love how I'm electrocuting the, pl the Kirby players, not the enemies at hand. Let's see, what can I get? Ooh. Sword! Mine! Cut, cut, cut. Yay! So yeah, with Sword this goes by much easier. Just find a group of enemies and run into them. That's really the main idea here if you have the right ability. Uh, ice is not my favorite. I like, or I like the power in Kirby's, re in the real games of Kirby. I guess that, that'd be a little insulting to this game. To the games of Kirby that aren't a racing game, Ice can be very powerful, especially in the newer versions like Kirby Return to Dream Land. But, in this sword, I think it's definitely the preferable version. Alright, wow, 44. That's not very good, my records. It's alright, I guess. So now I'm gonna do this one more time. Let's see if I can go for Dragoon or Hydra. But first, I will be green. I like green. Swarp Star! Swarp Star! Mine! Yeah! The star! I don't know why people just like- I beat the yellow one! Green and yellow! <laughs> I don't know why people don't like this star. Yes, it's crazy and fast and nuts and psychotic. And another adjective. But it's still fun. It makes it more fun to stop. I got attack and defense. So yeah, just go crazy. That's the fun thing though, you can. Sure, you have to click hold your- hold your boost button all the time because you need to stop because it's stop cruise stop cruise it's still fun especially with the I, I refer to it as like a steroid it's not it's the I call it the hyper tank or it's that energy tank with the electric bolt on it, it's orange and it really speeds you up for some reason I feel the need to beat up this compi I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him I don't know why I can be a little brutal to, the, to these computers just because well, I get bored, so, yeah, why not? And this yellow guy, he's just, he, his appearance, he rubs me the wrong way. See, I'm gonna come at him with this, with the spinning, and do that. Come on, come on, I wanna get him. And that, and that. Until he's dead. I'm slightly evil. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Find another computer and kill him. Ooh! I like, but I do like saying these time bombs because it is funny to see who gets de who detonates them. Kane Deed oh, there's the energy tank I was referring to. Whee! Actually, I think it works the best with this one, with this machine, because you're always pressing A and you have actually more control. <laughs> the yellow guy fell into my trap, and I killed him. I knew I would kill him. <laughs> I'm evil. So of all machines, I think that to control with the energy tank I think this one in my opinion is probably one of the easier ones because you always are clicking a and it actually does a fairly good stop when you hold down the a button <laughs> I love when those time bombs hit my enemies an all patch that's rare mine oh this is sweet and I've got a cannon I look so lethal all I need now is the spinning attack that you find in the green boxes speaking of if you want to know anything about Dragoon or Hydra feel free to ask in the comments or questions below or anything really Hydra Dragoon are very... They have specific locations to where you can probably find them. Generally in the areas where they're not very 
well known. Like some areas where you can find a Hydra and Jagoon are both in the underground or un in that tunnel where the machines are. There's a side path right when you enter from this entrance where I am now. That entrance right here. It'd be to the right, right where I just passed. And then there's a wall that you can break, and you can go in there. And that general area, if you think, if you can visualize where I'm referring to, if you play this game, there's Dragoon and Hydra generally over there, and on that four towers thing on the, on the. Okay, since I'm moving so much, I can't really tell specifically, but, and I'm destroying people, so that's even more fun. There's these, the four towers, There, there's a name for it, I just don't know. If you read these um, train stations, or the rail stations, they tell you, on my right right now, that's where you can find quite a few pieces. Like right now, I just found a Dragoon piece on this edge. Uh, here's an unidentified, unidentified pillar. To be honest, I'm wondering in this match if I even want Dragoon. Because, don't get me wrong, it's powerful in a sec, but I've really built up the Swerve Star to be powerful against King Dedede, not Dragoon. Just, it's making me think. But, we'll cross the bridge if I even find the other two pieces. Music, I think, is a fun attribute or power because it kills or hurts people in the vicinity and it alerts you to who is in the, in the vicinity. But, um, when you find a red box out here, this could be a chance to be Dragoon. Oh my god, I need one more piece. See, the, the pieces that are Dragoon and Hydra generally un under the volcano, around the volcano, out of the general area, kind of on the exterior part of the map just think of somewhere where someone wouldn't immediately think oh it's gonna be right here in the middle of nowhere in the middle of everywhere when it's in the very obvious middle it's probably not there there are spots that you the more you play it like right now there's a red box up there I'll bet you anything that's the piece holy crap it is you know what do I really want it let me think no I don't want it this is the first time I've ever denied it because I don't want to fight King Dedede with Dragoon I'd rather think logically with swerving than abuse the power of Dragoon. Oh, good job, Hazel. That's some big integrity right there. Oh, thank you very much. So, yeah, I don't want to fight King Dedede with Dragoon. I want to use my star that I built up, not the one that is so cheap and broken. <laughs> I'll probably never refuse it again. I just wanted to see if I could actually even make up to it. And now, I fight King Dedede. I've beaten King Dedede in the past. Wow, sick 12 defense. The thing is, though, he's kind of a jerk, and you need some really strong powers to get him, and the Swerf Star, though, it is better than Dragoon to use. It's not, I don't personally like using it against King Dedede, and right now I'm missing pretty badly. So, the, okay, I just missed three times! Okay, finally. So, it's not maybe just the Swerf Star, maybe it's my own fault. So, yes, now I'm going to stab him. You don't want to get on top of him because if he gets to you, or you have computers who are jerks, it will beat you up and you'll be in the red like I am! Uh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Music! I can't rely- I can't get too close to him right now. I would need, like, plasma or something so I could- or spark. So I could attack him from a distance. Maybe I should have done that farther away. Alright, let's see. What can I do to hurt him? What can I do? Ice. I'm dead. I'm really dead. See how much can I hurt him without him killing? Um, yeah. Well, sorry guys. This has been Aza3883, my first free play. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time. See you tomorrow with Warrior World.